Welcome back. So before we actually start cleaning up this code and adding this button I talked about, I just want you guys to see this link, the Tour of Heroes right here. Try and go there and click that guy. You'll get to this tutorial right here. It, it's also available on the main page under Getting Started. There's a tutorial right here. I encourage everybody to do that tutorial. It's, it'll take a bit of time. I have to I have to tell you that, but you should just go to, through this tutorial. There's so many great piece of information by doing that. And I'm going to force anybody that I know to do it if they want to learn Angular anyway. So notice you'll end up with something like this. You'll build a small tour of heroes where you have a dashboard, you have a list of heroes, you have a small place to create new heroes, and you actually have a way to kind of um, list specific heroes. And it's a great guide. So go and, and do that tutorial right now. But let what I wanted to show you guys, this lesson was actually a way for us to kind of make a button that dynamically could change the DOM, that could change using Angular that could actually go and change information on our page. So I'll just get rid of all this noise right here and I'll just add, just this, let's get rid of this as well. I'll just add a very simple button right here. Notice this is just a button. There's nothing in it that's uh, different than what you're used to. And this is how you use Angular click events, just like you would do in, you would do an unclick event and call some JavaScript. This is actually how you do it in Angular. You do a click event like this and then you write the method that you want to hit. Again, this is how we communicate between the HTML and the TypeScript. I can just write a method. I can just do count up one like this, just a method, right? Count up one. And I'll just copy this name right here. Now I need to go to my TypeScript file, the guy that's bound together with this HTML. And that's of course this guy. So I'll pretty much just make a function down here. Nothing, nothing more than this, that's that simple. And what I'll do is I'll change the title into actually being just a number like this. And then I'll just say title, this title, plus plus, like this, very simple, right? So I'll just add one to the title every time I click that button. Let's try and see what we got. Oh, by the way, I need to add, of course, some HTML to kind of say, click me or something just like what you would normally do with a button. And the button isn't pretty yet, that doesn't matter. We can add some CSS later, but let's have a look. When I click this guy, one, two, three, four, five, duke, 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 notice how simple that was, right? So now I used, behind the scenes, this is actually JavaScript running, but it, it seemed like I just added a few fields of information. I added this title right here, binding to this specific property right here. I added a click event on a button like this. And when I click it, it pretty much just counts up one. That's how simple it is. It's so amazing. Now I could do anything in here. This is just a very basic example, but you could start doing a lot of crazy things, uh, changing colors, changing styles, do whatever you wanted. But let's just keep it simple this lesson. Now you know how to use a simple click event on a button and how to change a property inside Angular using that click event. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time. Have fun.